Editing is a journey to uncover ideas, a process of selecting cuts and transforming them into visuals that mesmerize the viewer. Many artists have discovered the flow state of editing by using precise tools. You'll notice an increasing number of creators switching to DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci, DaVinci, DaVinci Resolve, DaVinci Resolve. An industry leading software that's not only free but also an all in one solution for post production. Its seven dedicated workspace tabs allow you to create films, visual effects, and even complete audio compositing. It's like having your own post-production studio in a single software. Today, we'll explore all the pages this software offers and explain why you need to switch to DaVinci Resolve to unlock the true power of editing. The Media tab is the first thing you'll see when you open DaVinci Resolve. It's specifically designed to help you import, organize, and manage your media assets efficiently. As an editor, keeping your files organized is key to a smoother editing process, and it just makes sense to have this tab at the very beginning. One feature I absolutely love in the Media tab is its ability to automatically sync your media. Every time you add a file to your folders, it instantly gets synced in DaVinci Resolve. Plus, with the keyword tagging system, you can organize and label your files. This means no more wasting time scrolling through endless clips. Just search by keyword and jump straight to the footage you need in the Edit tab. Let's move to the Cut tab, which is specifically designed to help you assemble your footage faster. This tab is perfect when working on projects that need structured workflows like Netflix documentaries, feature films, or any big project requiring structure. The Cut tab lets you focus solely on selecting and refining your cuts. You don't have to rely on the Media tab and Cut tab if you're working on projects like YouTube videos or vlogs, as DaVinci Resolve is designed for any kind of work within the space. You can stick to the Edit tab, which is the traditional way of editing for any kind of YouTube videos or short films. Now, just to clarify, the Edit tab does allow both of the features included in the Media tab and Cut tab in a simple way. Now, obviously, we need to talk about the Edit page. This is where you spend 90% of your editing tasks, scrubbing every minor detail and making the final masterpiece. And if you're coming from the world of Adobe or Final Cut, it's more similar to them. But the interface of this is so visually clean and everything is so accessible in a very well thought out way. Once you experience it, there's no way you'll want to go back to editing another project in software that feels clunky to work with. You can edit your entire video using just the Edit tab, and once you're confident enough, you can start navigating other tabs for specific jobs. Some of my favorite features in the Edit tab include automatically detecting scene cuts. Now you can instantly cut an entire feature film in just a minute. Manually cutting is a thing of the past. Another feature is Audio Ducker. Now you can instantly muffle your music over a voiceover clip. You don't need to manually find an effect and adjust the music. You can simply enable it, choose your voiceover track, and voila, you're done. There are also so many cool AI features like smart reframing, image stabilization, and super scowling. But if I start discussing them now, the video would take an hour. Don't worry if you want to learn about these tools, there's something better waiting for you at the end of this video. But for now, we need to look at the Fusion tab. This is the part of the software where magic happens. Literally, think of any CGI effects and Fusion does that. Fusion works in a node-based structure, which allows you to instantly look at any effect you've applied to the footage. Nothing is hidden like in layer-based software editors. Now, I'd love to talk about Fusion effects, but I can't go into detail because there's so much to cover. In conclusion though, some of the features I use a lot include the magic mask, which really is magic, and removing any disturbing objects within my footage with the help of the paint effect. Now, moving to the main highlight of this DaVinci, the color tab. This is what DaVinci is best known for in Hollywood. Almost 90% of production houses nowadays use DaVinci to color grade entire films, and I can completely agree with that. Just ask any professional colorist, and you'll know the appreciation DaVinci Resolve gets. You can stylize any kind of grading with the help of a few nodes. And the color tab is really for someone who wants to create a stylized look in their footage. In a nutshell, some of my favorite features in the color tab allow you to steal color grading from any Hollywood movie you like, tracking, which allows you to adjust specific hues in your footage, the ability to create any kind of light rays or reflections, advanced noise reduction, Color Space Transform, which is an incredible feature in itself. Moving on to Fairlight, which is the world's first and only audio post-production software that's completely integrated with picture editing. 
That means you can move between sound editing and picture editing with a single click. Let me show you some of its magic. Here's a clip from a short that has a lot of noise in the background and with the help of voice isolation, you can remove all the noise with the click of a button. Now, you can sound design an entire project in only one software. I'll say it again, once you've experienced it, there's no way of going back. After finishing your finalized masterpiece, you toggle over to the delivery tab where you can export your next film, documentary, YouTube vlog, you name it. You can even create digital cinema packages, DCPs, for theatrical distribution or output to tape, which is pretty professional stuff. One feature I like the most is the ability to export individual clips all at once. It's such a cool feature that this software offers. To conclude, I feel DaVinci Resolve is the best software for any kind of video editor. It's a space where you can grow. Once you've developed a certain level of understanding, you can allow yourself to experience what it's like to become a professional. Just for the purpose of a visually clean interface, I can confidently say you need to learn this software. And if you want to learn about the edit tab of this software to edit any kind of YouTube video from me, just comment below. I'd love to show you how quickly you can become an expert and create awesome projects. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.